Hello, I'm David DeCosmo. Welcome to ECTV Live. I'm joined by my co-host, Rusty Fender. Hey, good to see you, Dave. Nice to see you, Mike. outside here. You never know that it's March. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, hey, one of the things is that as March comes, we've got some great events coming up, and Lori Fleming is here with us today to talk about one of them, and we've had uh, Lori on before hey, to Laurie. talk about <laughs> Seniors Got Talent. Now, historically, I think this is your, your baby, is it not? This program? It is, but we have such a great committee now and people involved. It is just wonderful. And it's in April this year again. Now, understand we have several, uh, do, I, we don't call them senior citizen centers no, anymore, do we? Not anymore. Now they're active adult centers? Correct. Close. I just, you know, That's I, close. I, I, close. I, just, <laughs> I just got to be a senior. I was going to say, you were a senior and you got talent. And then they changed it. All the they, time. So, what are they called now? Ours, as ours, as of at United Neighborhood Centers, the one that we that we operate for, are active older adult community uh, centers. You were close, Dave. You yeah. missed close. the older Close, I told part. you, but yeah. no cigar. That, that, that was close. close. That close. <laughs> and somewhere along the line, you decided to do something special to make sure that these folks who had hobbies or maybe once had professions in entertainment of one form or another got to got to show off and hence was born this program. Correct, and we also did it because in May, um, nationally, we celebrate Older Adults Month. Okay. So that's when it first started. We decided this, we knew we had something, let's do it in May, and we started it at, at that time, it was the Westside Senior Center. Okay. And then um, my MC that I had asked was Evie Rafalco McNulty, and after the event, after we've packed the house, we probably broke fire codes, people out the door, we realized we had something. So we needed to move it. And then from there, we got a great committee. People came on. We even got a producer, Tony Nicosia, came on. And this has just grown into a wonderful, wonderful Sunday afternoon. How many years has it been now? This is our seventh. Seventh year. Yep. Okay. And this year, you have a, a, a new venue. Uh, well, and yes, we're going back to the Lackawanna College, to the, okay. I think it's the People's Security Bank yes, Theater now. now it is. Yeah. That changes too I with, know. The, yeah. with, with yeah. the names. <laughs> so we're going back there this year. All right. Now, for those that haven't seen this, and, and you haven't been watching ECTV then, because we've, <laughs> we've actually broadcast several of these Seniors Got Talent programs, and you would be very, very surprised at the quality of uh, the acts that that get to perform. As I recall from last year's program, mm -hmm. you now go through, literally go through an audition uh, program of some sort. Yes, we do have auditions. We've had auditions now for at least five years because mm -hmm. it, has, it has grown. But we're always looking for new talent, for people to come out. You just have to be 55 or older. And our key is when we say amateur, you just can't currently be making your living with your talent. Okay. So maybe, again, you had mentioned you did something in the past. That's okay. If you're currently, that is not how you make your income, you can audition for the show. Mm -hmm. well, um, what kinds of acts would we typically see at one of these programs? Well, of course, you have the singing. That is always a big one. We have dancers. We've had dramatic readers. We've had poetry readers. Um, if you can juggle, you can come out too. We even had one year um, somebody who, who was a dog trainer who, who came out. And oh. This year, we're hoping, keep our, our fingers crossed, somebody who's doing painting would do live, live sketching too with music. And that's a talent. You, um, let's see, we've had just such a variety of things. Um, uh, it can be funny. It can be serious. You could play, oh, we have a, a p, p, uh, people that play instruments, mm -hmm. and we have a piano player again this year. So I want people to realize 55 or older, any talent, you don't have to be Broadway bound. Do you enjoy it? Do you sing loudly in the choir on Sunday church? Come on out and try out. And it can be an act, too, right? It can be an act. That's you the can thing. Have, yeah. Not just one person that can be an act. And we would love to have somebody that does a funny a uh, spoof of something or a skit, that would be great. People love, oh, this year we have an, um, a comedian slash impressionist. So he does a pretty good John Wayne That's and, good. and things like that. That's good. So yeah, and we just told him it had to be PG rated. We have a PG audience <laughs> That's here. That's good because the younger generation wouldn't know who John Wayne is. So it's, gonna, it's, it's geared to <laughs> that era. That's you're good. right, you're right. Yeah, now do these 
And this is a competition. Yes, it is. So do these contestants come from the centers or can they, maybe someone that does not attend a center regularly but is interested in trying out, can they do that? Yes, it um, does not have to be at any of our centers, ours or the other independent runs in Lackawanna County. It's in northeastern Pennsylvania. Our winner last year was from Luzerne County. Oh. As a matter of fact, the runners up were from Kingston as well. Okay. So it can be all over. We encourage everybody and anybody 55 or older to try out, have fun, enjoy it. How many centers do you have? We personally have four. We have one in Carbondale, one in Mid Valley, Jessup, South Side, South Scranton, West Side, West Scranton. Okay. On April the 7th, then, at the Lackawanna College, what time does the program start? It starts at 2 o'clock. The first half will be the acts that are competing for the prize money. Then we take an intermission break. At intermission, what we have is the Audience Choice Awards, because here's what happens. Rusty, who you might like and you think would win is different from Dave, who you think should win is different who I think should win. All right. So this gives us opportunity, we have these boxes out there and you get to vote for your favorite act. How do you vote? You stuff it with some dollar bills. <laughs> so after that, we count up the money. Of course, the one that has the most money is considered the Audience Choice Award. Then in the second half, we have usually some professional entertainment to entertain the audience while the judges are deliberating on who they think should be first, second, and third. So then there's the judges' awards as well, and there are prizes for the winners. Yes, 500 for first, wow, 300 wow. for second, and 200 for third. Definitely an American contest. There's always two ways to win. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> yeah, that, right? And do you know what happened last year? Our winner won by the judges. Um, you know what, in the past we've just done number scoring and that's who won, but we thought, you know, that doesn't give the judges chances to talk and talk about who should win. So we've changed it. They get to, they have a, they have a tally sheet just to go by, but then they get to go back and talk about it more. What's your time limit for an act? Up to four minutes. I, oh, I see it. I thought yeah, maybe even a little longer. Four. So no. you, you can get a lot of act. In. Any idea how many through, the, through we the show? We usually like to keep it 10 for the first oh, half. Oh, I see. Because we like to keep the show two hours. We don't want to, you know, monopolize some. More. Absolutely. Less and we want them more. coming back. We you don't want to say, oh, it. it was too long. I, I don't want to come back. That's right. So, but last year, when you were saying two ways to win, the winner or the gentleman won. Then he also won the Audience Choice Award. Oh, how about that? Double, double. So that was you know a definite what he did? win. Do you know what he did? And I could say, he gave back the prize mm -hmm. money to United Neighborhood Centers. Oh, wow. That's yeah. great. Because he just enjoyed it, had such a good time. He already won, and then that was a bonus, which he gave back. That was good. Correct. Good they, that. The audience choice, they win um, Broadway tickets to Broadway the Theater League, I and see. then dinner, uh, usually like at Posh. So yeah, It just sounds like they're all good uh, rewards for it's fun. a job well done. Well, good sponsors, too, to get involved with this, so you want the, the creme de la creme to get yeah. involved, you know? Uh, I, I, maybe I should clean up that harmonic and oh please and, Dave <laughs> terror is not the answer <laughs> Dave I'm old enough to participate today so you do the harmonica and I'll tap dance well, wow. there, there we, we got go. it <laughs> now the show again April 7th it's at Lackawanna College uh, two o'clock uh, I'm assuming there's an admission price yes it's 15 in advance and 20 at the door okay. there's information to go on to our website which is UNC -E -P -A Dot org, or you can call our office and troop, which is 570-346-0759. And if you can remember the extension 114, you can do that. Or if not, you can ask whoever answers the phone that you want to talk about getting tickets for Senior Scott Talent. I will repeat that before the end of the program. How is the admission money used? Does that make up the prize money? or? Well, no, we have a lot of great sponsors that do, and we have an ad book, too, that, that helps that. Um, the proceeds from this event go back to our programming for our older adults. You know, you and I had a conversation last year that there are 214,000 people in Lackawanna County. 33% of that are older adults, our, se our seniors. So the interesting thing is only about 1,500 attend senior centers or active older adult community oh. centers. So we need to figure out where these are, where are all these other older adults. Um, if they're isolated, 
how do we get them out? Mm -hmm. We have such great activities at all the centers. We have great activities. Well, well give us an example. What, what kinds of, uh, what I think of the centers, and it's probably because of news stories I've done about them, I tend to think of you know, the lunches, mm -hmm. that people would go there to have their lunch, but not necessarily spend additional time no, there. No, just to associiate with one another. Right, During have, the, have company. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I, that is a big you're, part. You're saying, though, there's a lot more. There absolutely is, and socialization is a huge part of it. That is probably one of the best medicines, the best pill absolutely. that anybody could take is socialization. Absolutely. So we do have lunches, but here's the thing that we did. We also now offer a lighter fare because these new seniors, these 55 to 75, they don't want meatloaf and mashed potatoes. You heard me say that before. They want soups and salads and quinoa salads, wheat pasta. So now we've done that to try to bring in this older or this younger crowd. But the challenge with that is this younger crowd is still working, taking care of grandchildren, you mm -hmm, mentioned yeah. your grandchild, or taking care of an even older loved one that may be sick or that needs, needs some attention. So we want to find out what it is that they want and need and then help to provide that for them. I'll tell you, our yoga and chai, tai chi classes, they get at least 20 people in each of those, cla those classes. So that's hot these days. That, Absolutely. You know, very yeah. much yeah. so. But yeah. you know who's coming, so. it's, it's at night and it's the younger, older adults that are coming to that. So we have to figure out ways and programs and what it is that will attract them to come um, to help master their aging. Really, that we're all we're all going to age, so let's all do it together and master this together. Well, speak to for the yourself, best. Gloria. <laughs> Maybe well, you two will, but <laughs> the alternative is not no. really preferable. No, you're, no you're right, Dave. <laughs> um, and then we talked about those ones that are at their homes that are isolated. We know this by these figures that I just gave. Yeah. You. Challenges. Do first of all identifying them. Where are they? And second of all, getting them to the centers, to all these activities, or even just the services that are in Lackawanna County. And it's County. tough, yeah. a lot you of know, these folks it, die as a shut-in. Yeah, you know, yeah, as, as a matter of fact, we, we have scheduled on an upcoming mm -hmm. ECTV Live program, uh, we're going to bring in Nancy Post from the Voluntary Action Center, mm -hmm. and one of the programs they've got right now deals with isolation and loneliness. Correct. So that will be an upcoming topic right here on the program. But you are, in a sense, dealing with those same things. Yes, we are. Trying to make programs available at the centers that will attract now what seems to be to older audiences and yet you very very different audiences. Absolutely. But you're lucky because you have some entertainment to play with. You can be a little more, you know, a little more forgiving with some fun things that you can do. Absolutely. And I always tell everybody, try it. You know, if you are a son or a daughter and you have a parent, encourage that parent to come to a center and try it for a day. Don't come with them, drop them off, let them be there. And you know what, they'll, they'll come back because everybody has this idea in their head of what a senior center is. They really, really have changed. So you need to come out and see. Look at a calendar. Every center has calendars and menus. Pick a meal that you might like and pick an activity. Or maybe we're doing screenings that day. We do a lot of health screenings. Oh, maybe there's okay. a party. Oh, maybe there's a speaker. It was just Dental Health Month, and somebody came out to talk about not only denter or dental care, but denture care too. Yeah. I, I actually um, did uh, some speaking at you did one yes. of the centers. Uh, so we have that. We have the socialization programs. We have um, activities like bus trips. We have exercise programs. Then we have the nutrition program. So I encourage everybody out there if you are the age come out one time to a center and try it and i bet you'll be back i'm almost thinking that uh, uh that we ought to get you folks to put together some kind of a program at perhaps just one of the centers that you could videotape and that we could then use here on ectv i would love uh, that as as an outlet uh, you know and uh, uh a mission beyond the center uh, because we're capable of doing that if you're capable of providing the, the programming. Um, and then to show both sides, to show what goes on during the oh, 8 to 1 time frame. And then there's usually nothing in the afternoons and then what happens in the late afternoon, early evening for those two different crowds. When you get someone new, say a new, for lack of a better term, a new recruit into, yeah. your, into, your, into your center, 
are they usually receptive into mingling and to getting involved? I guess obviously they would or they wouldn't be there. Right, and we make it our mission to do that. We know we'll sit them at a certain table that we know that that group will um, um, Oh, envelop them and you know get them in activities. Sure. We also introduce them at lunch. You know, oh, today we have a new member, blah blah, and so we can we can in encourage that. We encourage them to come back again. We'll say, when can, when's the next day you want to come? So yes, that's there great. is that Lead integration. Them into a repeat, Never uh, want somebody yeah, to be good. by themselves. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it also brings up the point that uh, uh, when we think about the centers as a place where you can go and enjoy uh, a lunch. And by the way, I would still want the meatloaf. Uh, <laughs> and the mashed potatoes. And the mashed potatoes, yeah. Um, generally, what are the hours of the centers? Ours are open 8.30 to 1.30, Monday through Friday. Okay. And then we have some evening activities as well. That, and, and I can see with that new crowd that there may have to be an expansion toward the evening end of things eventually. Yep. Because, again, if they are... Uh, preoccupied with either still working or, or, or being a caregiver, that's the time that they're going right. to have that's free. That's the only window Absolutely. that's available yeah. usually. And, yeah. and there are so many things that could be done, and I, I'm going to ask you about them suggesting things to you, but I know I participate in a radio program every Saturday morning, and it's out of, it's out of Lansford, uh, Pennsylvania, and it's really designed for senior citizens for the older adults because it, it's a nostalgic program. They talk about what was, what used to be the good old days, if you will. And invariably I mention movies because my father was a projectionist and I'm, I'm, I'm very into movies. And I'm, I'm surprised and yet kind of annoyed by the fact that I hear these callers, well, I haven't been to a movie in 15 years. I haven't been to a movie in 20 years. And yet, what a great way to go and get some entertainment. You're right. To go out and see a good movie. Uh, and, and, you know, here's a situation where I would say, gee, can a senior a center, can an, an older uh, adult center provide transportation and take a group to see a motion picture? You know, I, Yes, and, and the, that's a, a, a wonderful idea, too, um, that we need to look into to do. And that's what I need to do is to network with other people and other organizations. How can we all work together? Because, you know, we have to do that. We all have to work together. Nobody can work in these silos anymore. We have to all join forces So here. are you getting input, though, from, you know, as Rusty said, mm -hmm. somebody comes in, they see what you have, but do they also volunteer ideas to you for... For uh, additional programs? And yes, such. and we have done a blanket um, survey too to ask them. I've also gone to different groups who don't come to centers and asking, why don't you? What, what is the obstacle that you don't come there? And also, what would we offer that would allow you or make you come to or want to come to a center? Yeah, what kind of feedback do you get there? You know, a lot of it right now is health. A lot of it is exercise. Uh -huh. A lot of it also is, um, we mentioned this program, this aging mastery program. Okay, you're going to retire. What are you going to do now? And how are you going to spend your time? And this program is wonderful because it's these 10 groups or 10 sessions that will talk about these things. Um, about Let's talk about end of life. What is that going to be like? Do you have everything in place for when that time is, is going to happen? Do you know what a power of attorney is? And, um, and then finances. What are you going to do? How you, do you understand what you know, the market is like and all of those, sor those sorts of things? This younger group is more willing and interested in learning those types of things because they're going to live longer. Mm -hmm. Statistics yeah, shows we're and living. You know longer. the problem is too, the only caveat with that is technology once again is to blame for a lot of this. You talk about going to the movies. You know myself as a fellow projectionist back in the 70s when I was in college and all that. It, it, no one's into it. I, I taught film and integrative media at Wilkes University, but now the technology is where you can get the same movie if you wait three weeks on DVD and watch it at home. So you're up against that as opposed to getting all these arrangements to go out with a group of people to see a film. Correct. He'll use the movies more than me, but I prefer to watch it at home and repeatedly, if so desired. So it's an uphill battle against, there's always something against you. And the technology makes it easy for people not to socialize. Correct. Well, and the, right. the, right. New, the new older adults would tend to be more into the technology. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, right. Although, the new although reluctantly, I would think, yeah. in many cases. Somewhere. Right. Yeah. 
And some look at it as a way to show that they're not getting older because I know how to text. I can use a podcast. That's right. So they're using that um, to ward off that aging process and to show that it's I true. am up with things and I can communicate with my grandchildren. I can Skype, you know. I don't have a flip phone anymore, Dave. Correct. Oh. I don't have a flip phone, Dave. <laughs> Just don't Should have a flip phone, Dave. Flip phone? Oh, yeah. Dave. Yeah. 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 Although my uh, my three year old grandson dropped it the other day three times and it still works. Oh, see that and you can't no, say that about uh, it. No broken yeah, screen. you're right. <laughs> there's That's no broken a good screen. point. So uh, I rest my case. <laughs> I, I uh, good point taken. <laughs> um, uh, I, I wonder if you have a situation there too. Are are the cause here again? We're talking about these two groups. They're both above 55 years of age, probably above 65 years of age, do they intermingle at all? Yes. Yes, they do. And it's great because somebody, an older older adult, will have their phone and not ha have a question about it, and I'll hook them up with a younger, older adult. Say, hey, could you help them out with their phone? Or, you know, I'm just yeah. using that as, as an example. Didn't you at one time actually offer some uh, we classes still do. In, in using computer and we such? We still do. Computer That's and right. cell phones. That's right. Mm -hmm. Computers. And cell phones. Yeah. And now we don't really even have computers. We have no. iPads. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. So. And you do more on your phone than the conventional Dell Tower at home anymore. The phones are just Absolutely. phenomenal. It's incredible. I, we don't even have one anymore. Exactly. Neither I do I. Never <laughs> had well, that, that goes back to your point of the technology changing and what they've got to work with and, and how they can use it. So right. that's, that's good. And yet, isn't it in interesting that the, the focus of our program today is one of the big things that you have, which is one of the oldest things that you could do, which is to have a show. You know, Mickey Rooney and, that, and, and, and uh, Judy Garner, come on, let's have a show. That's exactly that's right. Let's, let's put that's on a right. show. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to put on the Seniors Got Talent, and you mm -hmm. say about about 10 contestants, about 10 roughly. Mm -hmm. Dwindled down from how many applicants, curiously? Mm, sometimes we get anywhere from 15 to 20. Okay. But I think there's just so much more talent out there. And you make the decision on who makes the cut, correct? I do not. No, but a Please committee, do not a, put me No, but a, a <laughs> committee does, correct? Uh, but we have we have a committee that goes through it. It's not the same judges as the it's a good day way of the to delegate show. blame. That's good. I always get a committee well, in No, the because house. I know some of them. And that's all I need for them to do is say, Laurie put me in or Laurie didn't Absolutely. put me out. So yeah. let's, you know, I get enough. But um, the, they're not the same judges. The judges for the show will not see that talent until that morning. Okay. Oh, that's Can I tell you who our judges are thing. this year? Yeah, sure. This it, year. It, it would be nice if you could put everybody on that wanted to attend, but then you'd wind up show. with a four hour program. Yeah. And, and let's, what a turn let's, off let's also be right? honest, too, yeah. that, that you know, a, a couple of those that come on would probably not be really all that great and, and could turn an audience off. But I, you know, I will tell you. That audience is very good to everybody that is there. We had one woman one year who wrote a poem about the flag. And she read that, recited that poem with the American flag there. And people stood up and were clapping, you know, as well as the singer who came out was like, whoa, are you sure you're not a professional? I will tell you, we have a great audience. Last year, we had close to over 400 people. Oh wow, that's uh, great! At, at, yeah. It's a Saturday af or Saturday. It's a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon. Tell us the so, judges. The judges this year are um, uh, Stacy Lang from WNEP. They are our sponsor. Uh, we have um, Frankie in the morning, Frankie Warren, mm -hmm. and this year uh, again we have Justin Sochoka. He is a local Abington Heights graduate who made it big on QVC. He is the electronics expert, and of course Evie Rafalco McNulty will will be back. The show also what we brought in, the committee brought in Tony, I was telling you about uh, Tony Nicosia, and what he does with the acts is he, after there we have windowed it down and, and we have our acts that are going to compete, he works with each one, just giving him his, his touch on what might help them, how to project, maybe they should wear this or that, and so he's been a great addition to our, nice. our, our, our committee as well. All right, the show is going to be on Sunday, April the 7th. It's at 2 o'clock, and they have moved back this year to the Lackawanna College. Uh, once again, let's talk about tickets uh, before the show and if you have to wait until the show itself. Tickets before are $15 in advance and $20 at the door. You can get tickets by going on our website, uncnepa.org. Um, or you can call at 
346-0759. And lastly, too, if you are around any of our four centers, um, you're welcome to stop in between 8.30 and 1.30 to purchase your tickets as well. That one in Carbondale is on Church Street across from the Y. Mid Valley is on Church Street as well in, in Jessup. The Southside Senior Center, oops, I just said that. Yes. The Southside Active Older Adult Community Center is on Alder Street, and the West Side Center is on uh, Jackson Street. Okay, well, to Break all, a leg, Lori. Yep. all the contestants. I'm telling you, next year, dancing, see? And what are you <laughs> going to bring to the show? Uh, some popcorn and peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Thanks, Rusty. Lori. Thank you. Good to see you, Dave. Martin McGlory, thank Thanks, you for Martin. keeping us in focus. I'm David DeCosmo for ECTV Live. Till we see you again next week, here's hoping all your news is good.